Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Software Basics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to select, copy, move, or delete multiple blocks at once on your computer in Notion. So to start off, I'm going to be doing two demonstrations here. And the first one is just a general scenario. And the second one, I'll be showing you how to deal with this in a database. So starting off, it's quite simple to, you know, select. You can see here I have four blocks here. Now, all you have to do to basically select them all is come out to any empty space that is in the block and just drag. So it could be from the left or you can do it from the right or you can do it from the top and you can do it from the bottom as well. Now, obviously, this is in a toggle, so it, therefore it actually selects the toggle. I honestly think the best is to come in from the left and the right, and you can just select. Now, the other question is, of course, what if you want to select different ones? So just simply hold down shift, drag it in, so I can select goals, and then select travel, and then I can select resume. So if I want to copy, now you can't right click and copy. You would have to use the shortcut, which is control C, or if you're on a Mac, it's just command C. Now you can see I can copy all three of these pages. And if I was to make another page and go into that, you can see if we make an empty control V, it'll show copy of resume. And that's pretty much how you select and copy. You can see even in here, I'm doing the exact same. Now there is another actual way that you can select. Again, you can do that from within an empty block. So yeah, that's selecting and copying and of course moving as well. Now, of course, if you want to delete, you just need to make sure whatever you're selecting is selected. So we'll just go with this top one and the bottom one. Just simply press delete and that's that. Now it is fairly different when you're dealing with databases. So for example, I have employees directory database here. So this is one of the notion templates. And if I go back, you can see I actually have a copy of that exact database. Now this doesn't have all the employees, but the thing that this has in common with the other one, the original that isn't the copy is the properties. The properties are all the same. So you can see if I was to add a new one, it has all these properties. And you know, you can see we have LinkedIn, email, phone, and so on. So if I was to go back and I check the original, you can see we have the exact same properties. Now, problem with databases and copying and moving. If I try to copy all of this and head over to a database that doesn't have the same structure. Now you can see I already have something in there. If I do a control V and paste, you can see it just has copy of, but it doesn't take it all. And the reason for this is because it's not the same structure, AKA it doesn't have the same properties. Now, if I go back and go in here, delete all of this and do a control V, you can see it actually allows me to copy all this in. Now databases again, if I switch this to table view and let's do our selecting one more time, you can still hold shift and then do your dragon and so on like this. And again, you can copy control C and you can go paste that elsewhere in a database that's the same structure. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions at all, do leave it down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.